Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? This video, I introduce you to an unforgettable mod called Crackers Witherstorm. Inspired from Minecraft story mode, you'll be put on an incredible journey of fighting this monolithic Witherstorm. We'll be covering every detail of the Witherstorm mod, learning how to prepare for the fight, studying the multiple phases of the boss, the mechanics of the Witherstorm, fighting back, fulfilling your ultimate mission, and uncovering the amazing rewards. Ready? Let's begin. Phase 0 Before you begin, you may want to prepare yourself for the long journey ahead, as when you begin the ultimate fight against the Witherstorm, you can expect to travel potentially tens of thousands of blocks. Items that I found extremely useful include a boat for if you run into an ocean, fireworks which help distract the Witherstorm, a fast horse for getting away from the beast, a bucket of water for various reasons that will become obvious later on, a bed for setting your spawn point, plenty of food, a good armor set, ideally with some enchantments, and a powerful bow slash crossbow. Don't worry about spending too many hours preparing, as you will be given chances where the Witherstorm is distracted to gather further resources throughout the fight. Not to mention, there's no guarantee you'll survive the whole fight on your first try. Once you're ready, travel to this desolate building. Any world that starts with the Witherstorm mod installed will have this building spawn at 0, zero. At the top will be the fabled command block, sitting next to a Wither Skull. Place that Wither Skull on top to begin your journey. With the Witherstorm awakened, there is no time for regrets. Run while you can, because this Wither is 50 seconds away from ensuing total chaos. While roaming around, the Witherstorm will act as a chunk loader, and no matter how far you run, he will always be following you. This is Phase 1. In Phase 1, the Witherstorm is fast and plays very much like a normal Wither. His attacks are no stronger than that of a usual Wither, but that's where the similarities end and the differences begin. This Witherstorm will run around, destroying everything in its path, and slowly start to suck in blocks from around him. During this phase, I highly suggest collecting as many resources as you can, while also running away as much as you can. That said, don't think you can simply run for thousands of blocks and expect to be safe for a while. The Witherstorm is extremely intelligent, and as mentioned, will hunt you down if you try to get too far away. The best thing to do is to maintain a safe distance while also doing your best to collect as many resources as possible. Phase 2 Phase 2 begins quickly after Phase 1. The Witherstorm continues to grow in power, his explosive attacks becoming more powerful, and he will also start to absorb larger chunks of blocks over time. While the Witherstorm continues to bestow chaos from above, a useful item you can use to track how far he is from you is this amulet, crafted with some gems. This amulet will glow blue. If you're facing the direction of the Witherstorm and hovering over the amulet in your inventory, will tell you how many blocks the Witherstorm is away from you. Another useful perk of the amulet is that you can even track other entities if you wish, and by modifying the amulet with this crafting recipe, you'll be able to track all entities of that specific type. Extremely useful if you're in dire need of some extra stakes. There is one drawback, however. While holding this magical amulet, the Witherstorm will be constantly aware of your presence and may chase you much more frequently. Phase 3 the true horrors of what you've let into this world are starting to unfold as the Witherstorm starts to mature. Larger chunks of land are being absorbed. The Wither's explosions continue to grow in power and don't even think about trying to take him down now as this beast heals fast. In this phase, the Witherstorm has developed his beam and may even start to abduct you. To escape, you'll need to deal sufficient damage to his head where if done successfully, the Witherstorm will drop you. Hopefully you had enough health to survive the fall. Keep running whilst you can as he may try his luck again and after enough time, the Witherstorm may become destroyed distracted and stop chasing you for a while. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You've survived the first of many cycles of chasing, being abducted, escaping its clutches, running away, and surviving long enough for the Witherstorm to be distracted again. This is your core game loop, and don't think that's it, as every time you repeat this cycle, you'll be facing a more powerful Witherstorm. Next up, phase four. This is the real meat and bones of the mod. The Witherstorm now rises hundreds of blocks high and wrecks havoc from above. As you continue your quest, you may contract an illness called Wither Sickness. It afflicts mobs and players alike, slowly reducing your total max health and damaging you over time. The only way to protect yourself from this horrific sickness is with a golden apple stew. Killing skeletons or zombies afflicted with this disease will drop a withered bone or withered flesh respectively, which you use in the crafting recipe for your stew. Eating the golden apple stew will slowly cure you over time. And with that said, it's time to start your preparations for fighting back. Begin by collecting some gunpowder from creepers and some sand. You'll need these to craft several TNT for your future plans. You'll also need to find a way into the nether. However you do this, do it quickly, and be careful not to get caught by the Witherstorm's gazing eyes. Once in the nether, search for a nether fortress and collect as many blaze rods as possible. Hold on tight to those blaze rods, as they'll be invaluable in your future mission of fighting back. Phase 5 
it is time. With phase 5 reached, the Wither Storm has gathered an immense amount of mass within. Now able to absorb massive chunks of land and create huge explosions with his Wither attack. Over the next 30 minutes, the Wither Storm will now spawn a minion called the Symbiont. This minion is your next top priority, as he holds an extremely powerful item called the Enchanted Commander Block Book, a crucial ingredient for crafting the legendary Formidabomb. While in combat with the Symbiont, the Wither Storm will ignore you. Also note that the Symbiont is immune to your attacks from up front and can only be damaged from behind. Be careful, however, as the Symbiont has a wide range of powerful attacks that can easily take you down if you approach him carelessly, including firing multiple fireballs at your feet, launching hundreds of arrows in your direction, jumping high into the air and performing a groundbreaking hulk smash, firing multiple evoker fangs from below, and most impressively, summoning a wave of sickened mobs, all more powerful than their standard counterparts. You'll need to find opportunities where the symbiont burns out and stops attacking to deal a massive strike to his back. Do this enough times and you may survive to tell the tale. More importantly, you'll be able to collect the rare command block book ingredient that you're after. And with the symbiont defeated, it's time to get your crafting table. Craft some super TNT like this. Then combine your super TNT with some more gunpowder and blaze powder to craft the Formidabomb. With the Formidabomb crafted, you must act quick, as in the next 10 minutes this highly explosive block will detonate, and you'll need to ensure that it is located directly beneath the Witherstorm to deal an explosion of nuclear proportions. To get to the center, hide from the Witherstorm's gazing eyes using a shield, and distract him with firework explosives and any spare TNT that you may have, so that you may get yourself directly beneath the storm. Once there, place the Formidabomb below, light it with the flint and steel, and get out of there immediately. With enough distance covered between you and the explosive, you may turn around and watch from afar as you observe this mighty explosive detonate to finally take down the monolithic beast. With the Witherstorm defeated, you may approach his weakened cage, holding on to the formidable command block for dear life. It is time. Take your sword, raise your arms, and strike down the command block. If you can. Welcome to Phase 6. The Witherstorm is angry. His body splits into three and rises once again to wreak havoc amongst the overworld populace. Over time, the heads will multiply. A once three-headed beast split into three now has nine heads in total, annihilating everything in its path. Use this time to gather your gear and level yourself up. Enchant your weapons and armor wherever possible. Collect some ender pearls, plenty of food, and perhaps a golden apple stew or two if possible. Get some ranged weapons and ready yourself as the final phase begins. The Witherstorm will spawn another symbiont just like before, and the Witherstorm will ignore you while you battle this mutant minion and collect another command block book. Except this time, instead of crafting another Formidabomb, we're going to hold on to this book for a little longer. Phase 7. The storm has reached its apex form and is now ready to consume the entire planet. From the snowy peaks to the bedrock lava lakes, nothing is safe. But what's this? The wither storm has grown some kind of portal sitting atop its head. And it all makes sense for you now. You must use the command block book with a diamond tool to craft a command block tool using the smithing table and more on the tools in a moment. With the tools at hand, it is time to enter the portal. Hold an ender pearl in your offhand and load up your crossbow to equip the pearl inside. Volunteer as tribute to the with the storm and wait for the right moment. When ready, fire the pearl to enter the belly of the beast. The ultimate mission. Inside these twisted caves, you find the true destruction that has been caused by the Witherstorm. Mobs lay withered away in the walls, blocks tainted with a sickening purple hue, and at the center of it all lies your final enemy, the Command Block. To begin your final battle, approach the block and strike it with your newly found Command Block tool. The fight will now enter Phase 1. The command block rises and summons a large wave of powerful sickened mobs, all stronger than their usual counterparts. And once you defeat each mob, approach the command block again and strike it once more. Phase 2 the block angers, the dormant tentacles around the edges awaken to defend their creator, grabbing onto you if you get too close and attempting to strangle the life out of you. A symbiont is also summoned to defend alongside another wave of sickened mobs. Take down the symbiont and the mobs to approach the command block again. Strike it. Phase 3 
the wither heads awaken. The tentacles are brought back to life and there are now more and more powerful mobs all targeting you. Take down the heads, avoiding their purple beams. Defeat the mobs once more and once more approach the command block to deal the final blow. As you are teleported back outside, you are rewarded with a withered nether star as you also watch the beast fall down once more. This time, for good. Now before you click off this video, allow me to share with you the astonishing rewards that you are offered. With this new Withered Nether Star, you are now able to craft an immensely powerful beacon called the Wither Beacon, offering the same effects as a normal beacon. This Wither Beacon has a way higher radius than usual. Not only that, you can also craft these Withered Support Beacons made like this. Each Withered Support Beacon requires a unique block below it of either Diamond, Redstone, Emerald or Iron. These beacons will offer an additional effect of your choosing at the same level as the original Wither Beacon. And depending on which of the four quadrants it's placed in, North, South, East or West, they will offer that effect for an infinite distance in the direction that it is created. Furthermore, the command block tools that you created are a direct upgrade from netherite, hitting harder and even mining faster than your normal netherite tools. And if you didn't get the chance to craft all the command block tools, don't worry, I have a solution for you. Go to the nether and collect three more wither skulls, place them on your newly found beacon and have a crackers at resummoning the wither storm. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.